It was a hard-fought game last night, TJ. Yeah. You can see Christian Petrarca was good again. 38, 39 and 40 his last three games. Uh, Jack Bowie's going really well, or Bowie, whichever way you pronounce it. 34 disposals. Took Miller was brilliant again. Levi Casbolt started leading up. They started really well, the Suns. Kicked the first two goals. They were 15 points up early. And they were pressuring Melbourne. They were doing a really good job. But where they fell down was just the might of Melbourne and how much cleaner they were at the end of the day. Plus 86 and uncontested disposals last night, the Demons were. And they just got better looks than the Gold Coast Suns at goal. So they kicked easier goals. Gold Coast had five more inside 50. So no problems there. They were about 100 down on possessions. But when they actually got the ball, they used it OK. But their last entry inside 50 uh, was pretty much a bombed entry. And they just didn't have anybody on the end of those bombs. If they had been able to use the ball a little bit smarter, they would have been able to open up the Demons a bit more. But the Demons had numbers behind the footy. They had Stephen May getting back there. Multiple players that just went back the other way. And you knew the result. Even though Gold Coast were going well, you knew that they were going to steady and they were going to get the job done by two, three, four goals, which at the end of the day they did. And Melbourne did a pretty good job. But Gold Coast were impressive. Petrarca's had another 40 disposals. But Luke Jackson, he's might be the biggest thing in the game now with in terms of you could get someone's signature. Mm. He's coming out of contract at the end of the year. It'll be this guy. I think he can play ruck. He can play ruck rover. Center half back, center half forward. He can play anywhere. And he's just growing and growing in stature. And some say his ruck work is as good as Max scores. Uh, so he's got everything. Yeah, it's just the biggest luxury that you can have. Um, because every coach is wondering, do I play one ruck? Do I play two? North Melbourne play three. But you're going, well, where do you put them when they're not in the ruck? Well, you can put Gorn forward, you can put Jackson forward and equally be as good. So, yeah, yeah. if you're starting a team from scratch, Brownie, you'd probably pick him first, wouldn't you? Exactly. The advantage he has over other ruckmen, he's not a lumbering top. He's no. got power off the no. mark, which I don't think a lot of ruckmen have. Yeah. Brownie, uh, the Suns got the job done last week away against West Coast. Uh, pushed last year's uh, Premier last night. Uh, someone tracking really well is Noah Anderson. Maybe he doesn't get the headlines that others from that particular draft year do, but uh, you'd have to make a pretty strong case to make, to, to make that, that anyone's tracking better than him, Lordo, in, in his third year of football. Yeah, and he's, he's committed. He's so committed to the Suns as well. Like, he's all in on that. So I uh, think if they can get, obviously, Rouse signed, King signed, Anderson has signed. So at least there's three that are fully committed. Lacocious, OK, mm. was really poor last night. Rankin pulled out. They're the two concerns probably at the Suns. They're the inconsistent ones, yeah. aren't they? Now, Noah Anderson didn't kick a goal last year. Whole, whole season. He's kicked two last night, so if he can start adding that to his game and do what the best midfielders are doing, then he could go to another level. 